बैलेंस द केमिकल इक्वेशन बाय लॉ ऑफ कंसर्वेशन ऑफ मास ट्राई सोडियम फॉस्फेट प्लस मैग्नीशियम क्लोराइड इज गिव्स अस सोडियम क्लोराइड प्लस मैग्नीशियम फॉस्फेट इन दिस इक्वेशन द रिएक्टेंट्स आर ट्राई सोडियम फॉस्फेट एंड मैग्नीशियम क्लोराइड एंड द प्रोडक्ट्स आर सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड मैग्नीशियम फॉस्फेट If you look at this equation, the equation is not balanced. In the reactant side, there are three sodium atoms, one phosphorus atom, four oxygen atoms, one magnesium atom, and two chlorine atoms present. And the products side, there are one sodium atom, two phosphorus atoms, eight oxygen atoms, three magnesium atoms, and one chlorine atom present. The number of atoms are not balanced on both sides. To balance the chemical equation, we need to make use of coefficients. A coefficient is a number that we place in front of a chemical formula. In this equation, we need to balance the phosphorus atoms first. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of 2 in front of Na3PO4. The phosphorus and oxygen atoms are balanced. Now we need to balance the sodium atoms. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of 6 in front of NaCl. The sodium atoms are balanced. Now we need to balance the magnesium and chlorine atoms. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of 3 in front of MgCl2. The equation is now balanced. There are 6 sodium atoms, 2 phosphorus atoms, 8 oxygen atoms, 3 magnesium atoms and 6 chlorine atoms on both sides. If you like this video please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon